the Ramones, Bobby Talking Heads, Yankees, Mets, Giants, Jets, L-I-E-G-W-B, F-T-R and the B-Q-E, Bus Stops, Taxi Drivers, Walk Ups and High Rises, Thicker Street and Mulberry, and the Staten Island Ferry, Rikers Island, Wall Street, Moma Lady Liberty, Park So Brooklyn High Did it start? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, my oh, my Hawaii. I mean, I'm so busy. I was just so busy talking with you. How are you? Welcome to the Vinnie Bell Show. Welcome to the Vinnie Bell Show. Thank you so much. Vinnie, welcome and, uh, to the Vinnie Bell Show. There you go. There you go. Yeah, Vinnie, welcome to your show, buddy. <laughs> we love you. Let me introduce my, my beautiful guest. We got Autumn. Um, uh, that's been with us for a while. We got Joelle, Cheryl, and Carissa. Yes. Always Carissa, a pleasure. Carissa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chris has been with me the longest, and um, she's my uh, she's the chief of all the girls. She's, uh, she's the the designated girl. chief, I must she, say. Yeah, she's the main girl. I'm proud. She's the main girl. Now, tonight we have a hell of a guest. You know, this guy is um, uh, not only a friend of mine, but we did a couple of movies together. We did this movie called The uh, Sicilian Tale. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, I think no, that's the only movie we did together. And then I think, well, we both did the same television show, but we don't have any scenes together in there. Is that correct? Let me introduce him, please. Adi Pasquale. Yeah, Adi! Woo! My boy, Adi. Now, Adi, now you've been in, like, Sopranos. How many uh, episodes of Sopranos? did about 15 or so. 15? And then, I, uh, yeah, 15. then I met my... Uh, oh, so you got more than me. I got nine. Who's better than you? I don't know. Look at this. Who's better than you? <laughs> Got, Very true. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't end up with this. I got killed on this show, but I didn't end up with four people. Strong hot man. Yeah, we can't talk right now. Leave her. Leave I, I won't look at them. I know how jealous you get. I won't look. And there's bright light. No, you know I'm, I'm the jealous type. You know that. No. You know that. Yeah. I'm 94. I'm a heavyweight. What can I tell you? you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, uh, so besides the nine. <clears throat> episodes that you did on Sopranos. No, you, you did nine. He did oh, wait, 15. Oh, no, nine. Um, he oh, did 15. 15, yeah. I'm sorry, I must correct you. He went yeah, I, I apologize, yeah, you know, but I got to right, do my right. job. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many. Nine, really. 15. I agree. It was, it was you died. It was a great experience. Now, they, they you killed you in Sopranos, correct? Yeah, I actually brought a, the clip here. I thought maybe the folks right, so would have... we'll see that, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And, I was... Um, Proudly, yeah. proudly killed on the Sopranos. I'm sorry? I was proudly killed on the Sopranos. You know, if you're going to... Are you showing it now? Well, here we go. Here we There's go. There's a clip already. Boy, that was fast. Got yourself a gun. Your mama always said you'd be there. Chose a woman. She said you want in a million. You got to burn a shine. You were born under a bad sign. With a blue moon in your eye. You don't scare the piss out of me. Some things you don't get it to over the phone. Got it. Lorraine's at mass. Watch out for Spencer. Who? Oh. The fucking Toy Terry is a ship machine. I talked to some of the guys about your misgivings. Yeah?
got me 15 that. episodes. That you was think, just one clip. You think that was easy doing it? I'm I got sorry? The, I got the, can you say shit on the show? It. I got the shit beat out of me on that show. And that well, where is it? You got, do you have a clip on it? No, no. I, just, I thought it'd be interesting that they could see how I met my demise in The Sopranos. I appreciated that. I was actually wondering. That was me. You know that. Is that the only clip you brought? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm killing you. Yeah. How'd you come back to life? What'd they give you? A line of coke? I came back just because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it was very difficult actually doing that, and I got I got lucky. You know? What happened? Oh, must be Phil. Sorry. Phil, Phil Leotardo's. That was my ex girlfriend snoring. <laughs> no, it's funny. People call a couple of people called me up and they said, "Artie, I love the way you did that that scene where you had your eye. You made your eye go like, you know, like they think like I was in front of a mirror at home." practicing how I'm going to get strangled. You know, you're like, you know, how should I look? Oh, you don't do I just, that? I just got lucky, you know, it just came out lucky. My eye got droopy, whatever, and, and I told Van Zandt, we bro he broke a few of those things when he did it. He's like a barrel-chested guy, but he's shorter. I said, do it as tight as you can, and he did it tight. I said, if it hurts, I'll tell you. And, you know, I mean, it, he did it really tight to the point where I thought I was actually being strangled by... <laughs> By oh some gosh. guy, and that's was it a little tight though? It was tight. I actually had a line on my neck for a couple of weeks. Yeah, but people actually thought I was like home practicing how I'm going to get strangled. You know, it just funny. doesn't. No, he just and that really dog, that dog there, drove me crazy. That dog. Oh my God. Dog's name was Iggy. Who? <laughs> Iggy. I'm like getting. I had to do this about four or five times. You know, crashing into this, and I said after it was over. I said, when you get this damn dog off of me, and the lady, the lady whose dog it was, she got pissed off. She said, don't yell at Iggy like that. I said, Iggy, I'm getting the crap beat out of me, and you're worrying about Iggy. That dog, I had a thing in my pocket so that the dog would come and bark. You know, it was a trained dog. The dog probably got paid more than I did. <laughs> but uh, it was a tough scene to do, but it came out pretty good, I guess. Right. No, you, you did an excellent job, man. Yeah. You know what did an excellent job? Tony Ray Rossi, when Tony's, uh, when, um, James Andolfini choked him out in the yard, yeah. if you remember. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. he thought it was a deer, you came out yeah. and choked him. You know, I wanted to choke Tony. Yeah. Just like, he was I like fun him. here. Yeah. You know? fun. He's a good but guy. You did yeah, he's cool. We all die in a movie. Except I, when I died, at least I just got a heart attack. <laughs> you know what I mean? What? What? And you know what happened? When I went down on the floor, I was like this. And my wife, the girl that played my said, Artie, Artie, she came in with her knee right over here. And I went, ah. Oh. I said, sweetheart, I'm supposed to be dead. You're not bringing me back to life. <laughs> I don't care if you put your knee over there, but do it easy. You know? Yeah. See, I had been playing. I, they edited out a big part of that. I went to Van Zant Silvio's house and explained to him because I was trying to play both sides. This is at the end of the of the of the show. I was playing both sides, which of course you're not supposed to do. And Silvio was one of the most loyal guys to uh, Tony Soprano. Yeah, but now so, you were with you were with the Jersey Mob, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was with Johnny Sack. Yeah, I used to go around making collections with with uh, Patsy, Danny Grimaldi. You know, Danny. Anyway, it was it was a great experience, right? It was terrific. Why do you think it ended? I mean, I got my theory, but why do you think it ended? The show itself, why it ended, I think that everybody was really getting tired, you know. It's hard to keep that at the same level as it was. The first two or three years were the best. And to keep it at that same level, and a lot of the people were doing different things, you know. And then the ending is up for discussion as to whether you like the ending or not, but that's how David Chase is, you know. He's, he's going to let you figure it out yourself. Well, we you all have it. our own things. Mine I'll keep to myself, but... What? That, what? You could say. No, 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 my, no, my, this is your show. You can uh, say anything no, you want. That is. Now but I'm the, curious. I'm curious. <clears throat> no, I, I can't say because if I said I'd have everybody all over my head, I'd have the whole crew. I'd right. have the, all the state. I'd have everybody. I'm all over my head. So I'm not even going to get into it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. There's an old saying. You got nothing nice to say. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I got nothing nice to say, and I'd like to open it, but I'm going to keep it shut. <laughs> you know? But anyway, we both, we, 15 episodes, so you made a little bit of money. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it, was, right. it, was, it wasn't even the money. I mean, it was great just to be on the show. As you know, yeah. everybody wanted to be on that show. It was the hottest show on television. Did you get a shot at M Broadwalk Empire? And I got, no, no, I'm trying very hard, though, you know. Well, you know, they out offered there is me looking, a part can on help me out. They supposedly don't want the... Soprano type guys on right. there, you know. Well, they offered me a part, and you know what the part was? They wanted me to go down and audition for it. Only, the only thing I had to say is, he's in the car. 
I did, I did Soprano, I did Casino, I did five yeah, weeks. Yeah, I was in the car. In Vegas. I did Kill the Irish for another five I mean, weeks. Yeah. And I got audition to say, he's in the car. How many times did you say that, though? I said, is there any more to this than in the car? No, I'm sorry. And then they only want to pay scale. So, you know, rather than to burn bridges, I said, when are you guys filming? Oh, uh, they gave me the day. I said, oh, shit, I'm going to be in Canada. I can't do it. Well, I don't make as much money as you, you know, but anyway, but uh, that's another story. How long have you two known each other? Well, for a while, for long a while, time? yeah. We have a lot of fun together. Then. Is this way before Sopranos? Or did you all know each no, other no, then? No, or? no, no, no. Just in recent Is it years, before Sopranos? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. So did you know each other when you were shooting Sopranos, so. or just happens to be that you were on the same show? We happen to be on the same show. Oh, come yeah. on. Then we've done some other stuff. How long have you been acting for? Like Not how... that long, really. I'm only like about 15 years. How did it come so. into play for you? Well, I've always been a ham, so to speak. I used to do, like, be an MC at stuff and roasts and things yeah. of that nature. And even in high school, I had a little flair for it. But, you know, like a lot of other people, I got married, had kids and that kind of thing, and uh, never had time to do it. But... But in recent years, I've been doing a lot of stuff, you know. Are you doing any projects now? Any upcoming films? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing a few things. Um, matter of fact, I was doing this, trying to get it made. Frank Callow's in the audience here. Good You're also Hi, doing Frank. a play with Danny Ayo. Yeah, it's up. Are you, you are in rehearsals? Hi, yeah, yeah. We're trying to get this thing made called Morning on Charlotte Street. You know, it's a great story, family in the Bronx in the 50s. Mm -hmm. Frank directed it. And, even Rich Rossi here, he's got a project going. Yeah. We're going to save yeah. Rich Rossi called. Uh, We're going to save Mulberry Street, right? Uh, save oh, the yes. living. Who's oh, the leader? It's, it's, they're going through, uh, we should say, a, a cultural evolution. I guess. Who's the leader? Right. This guy. You are, right? Aren't Thank you. you. Yeah. I just want to take you <laughs> This guy over All here. Right. But my <laughs> biggest thing is, uh, like you said, I'm, I'm doing a play. I have to memorize 60 pages. I can't remember what I ate. Breakfast. I know, seriously. But it's Just a David Ray play. play, and Danny Aiello is going to direct it, and he asked me these so four people. How many pages on the play? I have to memorize 60. Yeah, I know, I know. I oh, feel shit. the same way. But. So when did, you start, did you start that yet? And this fellow no. writes in riddles. He's a famous writer. I hadn't, have you I done know. plays before? Yeah, Quite but not like this. Yeah. I did two. One time I played uh, Calvin Klein. I wasn't too fine about that one. But uh, then the other one, uh, we ain't going to get into that either. And then the other one was um, uh, Kid Shamrock. And it was 10 straight days that I did that. And uh, they said, once you do plays, there's nothing like it. Yeah. They're right. There's nothing like it, and I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like plays. What can I tell you? I rather really do my movies and do my commercials. Yeah. yeah. With this it's, rehearsing. It's a totally and, different yeah. animal. It's you a whole have all your yeah. lines on every yeah. day, and yeah. you still got to come in for these morons that don't, that say out late at night and they don't know their lines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know, the great actors all came out of the theater, I guess, but it's, yeah, it's, it is it's challenging. Right. It is really challenging. Well, I didn't come out of the theater. I, oh, I mean, there are exceptions. I came out of other places. You are the, the certainly theater. the exception <laughs> to the rule. Stop it. Where do you, where uh, do you, you have your it? own little theater on Mulberry Street at Frankie Ferrara, yeah, Frankie's yeah, place, right? Yeah. That's your own little theater right, right there, La Bella these, Ferrara. Are, these are my honeys right yeah, here. That's true. These are my honeys. This is your theater group right I, here. Do you want to know something? <laughs> I, know, I know it sounds a little crazy, but I, I love doing this show. That's number one. And, and, and I love each and every one of them. I really do. I'm, I know it sounds a little crazy. I know if it's impossible, but could you love four women at the same time? Oh, love them. <laughs> what? Love, love them at the love same them. time? Love them equally? I don't know about you, but I, I'm I talking know. about love them. I had trouble I'm enough. About I had trouble enough loving one, and I got divorced. So. Hey, listen, I'm married three times. My anyway. next one's going to be a good-looking guy with lipstick. If he bought me, I could beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, funny. Um, so you're Italian, you're, you're folks from Ita uh, Italy. I oh, a these are my here, friends. Right? They're all from Italy. They're all oh, from man. Naples, I too. That's my, that's my area. Ferraris. They were here last week, too, to watch the show. And they came back again. They only got another day or two, and then they're going back home. Uh, <laughs> all we're my good time. We're a good time. What can we and say? you know what? You know what I did? Because I liked them. Can I get the three girls just to come up here for one second? The three girls. I want to show you what I did. Only because they're friends. Do you want to come up? Come Where are you? Come on. Where are you? They're shiny. They don't want to get out of their seat. <laughs> Saying, oh, wait, here. Come right over here. I come want to show you what us. I did. Behind us. Yeah, I'm right over here. All three of them. Then I'll tell you when to do. Well, no, I'll tell you when to make the move. You know what I did? Because down in Little Italy, you know, they're selling all these 
all this bullshit there. I said, you know what I did? I ripped off, I ripped off three watches. Show them. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to them. Hey, put it off. And uh, let's see. I know, wait. You speak English, yes. and you two understand, right? <laughs> a little bit, not too much, right? Just a little bit, right? <laughs> They're not going to forget me with these watches. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's sweet of you, Ben. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I had to get even with those people down here. Probably a Chinese guy probably saw those watches on Mulberry Street. Say what? <laughs> wait, wait, say that again. Oh, I better be oh, careful. Don't get him started, wait, I know. Say what? I said you probably get those in a little Chinese establishment on Mulberry Street. That's who I sold them for, the Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> and that goes back to the saving, wait, uh, saving, saving Little, saving little Italy. Little, little saving Little Italy. That you know is what? the point. Because the guy opened up yeah. the drawer, and all the so if you get that watch, you buy it. He takes one out of the drawer and puts it in that spot. So I told her, I said, could you get me one of those scarves back there? It went back there. I took three watches and opened the door. I put three more watches back there. <laughs> but whatever you do, don't wear them. The next time you come to New York, don't wear them in the neighborhood. <laughs> and if you want to know what time it is, ask somebody else. That's you know? I'm sorry, what am I, what, what am I talking about? So anyway, I love this show. I love my girls. Uh, I look forward to coming here all the time. Cheryl. <laughs> Little baby, I know her a long time. You know, what are you tapping me for? I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm not going to say anything. You know, uh, that's another story. <laughs> and Joelle, we'll talk later. And Autumn, I love you too, baby. Carissa, oh man, this is, this, I'm in heaven. Um, now, more about the show. So, um, so you're doing a play. Now, I also heard that you're going to get involved with the movie that I'm doing, Saving Little Italy. You can do a cameo with that? A uh, uh, cameo? I don't know. You mean I don't like know. walk across the street? You mean that kind of thing? <laughs> no, I don't mean, I'm not, I'm not talking about extra work. No, I don't, I don't know. I think so. We were talking, I was talking to Rich uh, this past week. It's a great little story, true story in a sense, right? It is. I mean, it's, it certainly has changed what was called, what is now called Little Italy. And certainly we all, all the people here can ex have experienced that. Did you see the trail of that? I shot yeah, it yeah, you, yes, you were very good, as a matter of fact. Oh, well, you were very good. <laughs> it's those beautiful girls. That's what makes it. That That's what makes it. Very he nice. doesn't like the ladies. I want to know how good you are if you didn't have any good, good, good looking girls around you. you know? Say that, that again. would be the true test of your acting ability. If there were no good looking girls around you. <laughs> All right, everybody, get up. Let's go. <laughs> now, now you know better than that. Okay, that's okay. Now, but I. Um, uh, but, I'm, but I'm happy that you're going to get involved with that. Yeah, I think and so. And it's yeah. only a possibility if he doesn't try to shake his down. Danny, you know, if we try to get him like for an hour or so, you know what I mean? And we're trying to also get Robert De Niro. Bobby. Now, all we need for him to do is just say no. So mm -hmm. you know what I was thinking? We get a hidden camera and I'll say, Bob, you want to do the movie with us? He'll say no. And that's it. That's all we need. <laughs> You gotta yeah, work. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He'll, he'll I get it. all over my ass. That. You know that. We can't talk. That's you it. never know. You never know. Right? I, I wouldn't do that to him. You never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I won't get that other guy that looks like him either. Oh man. That, he's a problem. You know what I'm talking about. The other guy that thinks he's uh, Robert De Niro. Oh. <laughs> oh man. This is a guy. I mean, I'm not goofing on a guy. But his name is, I'll just say his first name. And he wears a little plastic mold <laughs> no. right over here. No, and he does is. look like him. Wait, this is the best part. He's also married to a black woman. And around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, on the weekends, he's with her. He's down there. People all juiced up. They see him with the black woman. Who are they going to think he is? Robert yeah. Deneau. So he never says I'm Robert Deneau. People say, hey, can I take a picture? Yeah, sure. I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> oh there are some people, even on, on Facebook. Now, I don't go on Facebook. I'm, I'm trying to get rid of some people. I don't need any more people. Really. <laughs> that actually believe. I talk to people. They say, you know, I was talking to Al Pacino last night. We're friends. I said, what do you mean you're friends? I said, oh, yeah, yeah. We talk every night. He's my friend. He befriended me on Facebook. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, I tell him what I'm doing, and he right talk, tells me back what he's doing. I said, you really, I said, I don't want to burst your bubble, but you think that Al Pacino is sitting home at a computer <laughs> responding to all of these people? I said, either it's a phony or 
Yeah. He's got a fan he's got club of some, you know. You don't believe all that, though. No, I don't. I'm, I got nothing against Facebook. I know some people have got in trouble on Facebook, but uh, they got in trouble. But there are some people also that oh. they believe that they're actually talking to these stars, you know. Scotty, how many people do I have so on Skype? Where is he? Where's Scotty? <laughs> yes. Where's Scotty? Is he around? He's in the Scottie, front. Oh, he's in front. Scotty, how many people do I have on Facebook? Three thousand, I think. Three thousand. Wow. But I don't know how to answer. Scotty does that all the time. Do you know all of them? Do you know all of them? I don't even know who the hell they are. Scotty. People say confirmed or deleted. Yeah, confirmed, confirmed. Oh, yeah. That's another problem with Facebook. Huh? You know, you have so many friends and you don't even know them all. Yeah, yeah well, I get some. Well, I make sure I know them. Or a lot of accept. people put me on their Facebook, so it's nice in that sense. But I, I don't have the time really to do all of that stuff, yeah. really. But where, it's, I, where do you even live? Are you New York or New Jersey? I'm a New Jersey boy. New Jersey yes. boy. Yes. Are you born and raised in Jersey? Oh, wow. I thought they bought that he'll slip you his car in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live in New Jersey? Or Originally, I was from a section in Providence, Rhode Island called okay. Federal Hill. A real, it's a big little Italy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I came here, and I'm in Jersey now. I live in New Jersey, about a half hour out of town. Where? Yeah. Where at? I don't, I don't, I don't know if he's going to say. Well, I'd rather not say, but anyway. Okay. That, that's for off camera, but he lives in the exactly. dirty Jersey. That's right. I mean, like, we're North from Jersey. Jersey. I mean, you don't North want to give Jersey, too much information. No. No, 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 it's 30 minutes away. Oh, yeah. Where? North Jersey? Yeah. I'm from there, so. Mm -hmm. I feel it. Like from Street. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it was in Chinatown. Yeah. That's funny. But I'm not going to give you a jet. What are you looking at me like that for? Well, you don't care? I'll give it to you then. <laughs> I don't live on Mont Street. Well, let's call Well. I, I, was, I was a block away. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to. I'm not trying to drop a dime on you. You think I'm going to give me your address? You know I wouldn't do that. I know. I trust you, Vinny. There you go. Good you know, Vinny, I want to say from that soprano thing with the dog. Yeah. I did a commercial. If, if anybody wants to go on YouTube and laugh, anyway, you go to Bada Bing Shampoo. Bada Bing. Bada Bing. Shampoo. It's a dog. It's a dog shampoo. Oh. Well-known dog shampoo, very high class. I had to go talk to all of these Westminster dog people. It's a real good product. Well-known where? Here? And I just no. because of the Soprano connection, they have an attack. They have a Soprano wing at this La De Da dog salon up in in uh, Orchard Park, New dog York. Dog shampoo. They flew me up there. You didn't there. have to do any kind of wash or anything like that. Right? No, no. But this stuff is supposed to be top shelf. To <coughs> really? From a wow. long way. See. I seen a guy <laughs> was funny. doing a head and shoulders commercial. The guy was bald. Oh, <laughs> well, really? I don't know if do head and shoulders. Yeah. Anyway, the guy was bald. He's got no freaking hair. Where is he? Uh, well, that's another story. Anyway, <laughs> um, you know, we don't have much more time to go. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, first of all, I want to thank my beautiful audience, even though I can't see them all. I know that there's a lot of people out there. A lot of silhouettes. Hey, uh, all out there. Where is... Um, JT's out there. I didn't um, think some of the guys uh, are out there. My, my boy Larry. Larry Costa was around here oh, somewhere. Larry. Hey, Larry. Because oh, right. you disappeared before. Oh, my I was looking, saying, where the hell is my boy Larry? Uh, now, pretty... You know, this Larry Costa, his show is coming up pretty soon. Mm -hmm. um, it's This this guy's like a Robert Goulet. He's got some... Voice. Oh my God! You have Am I right? Oh, Who's I on loved it. I fell in love with his voice. You, so you've so heard good. his voice? Yeah. You <laughs> on the show? So I wish I heard it. Everyone's talking about it. Oh, this so guy good. is fabulous. <laughs> <clears throat> so now, right now, I'm working on a one-man show, and when I do, I'm going to see if I can get in to do the opening act. So that's number one. I want to thank all my audience for coming down. All my friends from Italy. I love you all. I get all the guys. They'll watch us too. I got to say it from across the street. And uh, Artie Pasquale, Party. love him. Thank, Thank you, you so Party. much. All my nice beautiful girls. Thanks for having me. How much more time do we have? Three. What do you say? Three. Three. Oh, okay. Three minutes. Yes. Three minutes. Oh, that's great. That's what I said. So we're going to continue to talk. <laughs> so, uh, that's good. Wait, wait, it just made a blink of light. I don't know. I, I thought it was over. So, Artie, and, is uh, the play going to be in New York? Well, it's supposed to be off Broadway, and hopefully, maybe in September. You know, but oh. Mr. Aiello is handling the whole thing, so whatever he says goes. I don't, I don't, you know, he makes the decisions. Right. He's, he's a great, great actor. I've seen him. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's doing a show now himself that he's trying to get on Broadway called uh, Capone. It's a one-man show. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. And he's really dynamite. One-man show. Yeah, he was, he's really. I know. Wait, now he's trying to kick it to my ass. Well. <laughs> He's going, on Broadway. he's going on Broadway, though. You know, you don't want to go on Broadway. No, right? I don't. You're right, because I don't like Broadway. 
That's right. I want to. I want to do my I movie. Love that well, my that. tapes are going out that because they're going out to Atlantic City, Vegas, Reno, Villa Roma. You know, I don't want like these to place a whole 40, 50 people. That's nice. Uh, for the audience out there, I was here when Vinny was taping it, and he's got some great stories. Great stories on that tape. I was, and they're all true. And they're all true. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They're all true. Uh, yeah, they are. And uh, so, uh, yeah. actually, I get the tapes back tomorrow morning, and because I had to tighten it up a little bit, and then I'm going to send them out to, to have to reproduce them, and then they'll we'll start mailing them out. Mm -hmm. Good. We and, should uh, talk. Scotty is helping me do all of that, and another guy named uh, Gary Morgan. And I got to give Scotty a lot of credit. Scotty yeah, helps me. Right man. And, uh, for all my work. Go, Scotty. <clears throat> and uh, when I become big time, you might have a little time. You might have a little <laughs> problem trying to get a hold of me. <laughs> Don't worry, my boy. Well, you know, I'll just contact one of your one of your girls. They should, they should know you where you are. Uh, I'm the uh, captain. Carissa. She's the captain. <laughs> the captain, captain of his, his Carissa, ship. <laughs> Carissa will be the only one. <clears throat> That's funny. And no matter of fact, they'll all have my number. You, no. you, you, know, you all have a way to get in touch with it. You know? And, uh, well, but I'm just so happy for your new play. Tell Danny that when he played at the Blue Note, he asked me if I would bring some people down. I brought 44 people to the Blue Note to go and see him. And when I went upstairs, he says, Vinny, did you bring anybody? I bring anybody. I got 44 people <laughs> here. So let him know that if he could do a little cameo and then tell him, I'll uh, yeah, support yeah. his gig, you know, to play. Uh, you know what I mean? You I talked to Rich about it. We'll with the beat happens. a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> with the beat. Tell him, you know, do the right thing. Yeah, do the right, do the right thing. <laughs> Who's got it better than you, right? <laughs> Nobody, I guess. Yeah. Nobody. Oh, I have Nobody. to say, it's an honor to be sitting down with, um, yes. you know, with you guys here. Say what? It's not only us. You know, yeah. we're, we're, it's an honor to be sitting here with you guys. Yes. Yeah, we're pretty lucky. Uh, pretty yeah, lucky. We're pretty lucky. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm lucky to have you next week. We're lucky to be here. <laughs> with all these nice people. Fun. It's in the show, everybody. Nice to have you. Sit in.